Are album covers with text necessary? Hello everyone, welcome back to Playlist Pop. My name is Edward. So recently, I've been noticing that I guess after 2014, especially now in text on album covers has slowly started to disappear. And I'm sure you have noticed that if you look back like in the 2010s, if you go more back than that, like the 2000s and the 90s and the 80s and the 70s, most of the time the album cover does have text. There are maybe once in a while there's an album cover that doesn't have text, but pretty much there's always been text on the album cover. The title of the album along with the artist's name or sometimes just the name of the album. So I decided to go on Google and see if there's anybody talking about this and maybe get some opinions and maybe an answer as to why this is happening. And I saw this topic being brought up a few times on Reddit. So I'm just gonna read some of the stuff that I found and just kind of give my opinion on it and we'll just go from there. Has anyone else noticed a trend towards album covers with no text? I noticed lately that more and more album covers have no text or writing on them. My personal theory for this is because streaming and digital music libraries display the album title as the song plays make it less necessary to be displayed on the cover itself which I think that's pretty much the answer because when you think about it music is really in one place now everyone streams it looks it up on their phone or so sure there are people that do buy vinyls and CDs and music still but compared to when you look at the past there was more music being bought then physically compared to now I think that with most music being consumed in digital format with streaming there is less important stress on having a name on the cover since listeners know who the artists are. And in the response to that comment, they said, that's what I thought too. And with physical editions, many OPT for vinyl for display purposes, so a good photographic cover is better than one with text all over it. And in a response to that comment, they said, that was my line of thinking as well. Even if the listener doesn't already know what they are listening to, the artist's name and album title are clearly displayed within the app. You know, going back to what I said earlier, Earlier, everything is becoming more digital. It's not to say that you shouldn't put text on an album cover. Even if you don't put it, the information is still going to be in front of you. You can still quickly see who it is you're listening to. If you want to check out more of their music, press on their name and I'll show you their discography. I mean, the streaming service, reasoning aside, I personally think textless covers are better. It makes for a more compelling album cover and it makes it seem more like art. Also, some text font choices interesting in today's day and age looking at you lana i was so confused because i was like what cover are they talking about because i can't really recall an album cover of lana's where i'm like oh why did they pick that font or why is it as i kept reading through the thread i found someone saying nfr so i'm pretty sure that was the album cover they were talking about i like this it's like having a piece of art especially with vinyl covers one big piece of album cover no words needed which i do agree there are some covers that i've seen that the text is very questionable you notice some choices you have to pick the font and then do you want irregular, light, semi-bold, bold colors. Like there's a lot of thinking when it comes to putting text on an album cover or even a poster. I think it's because people aren't buying physicals as much anymore. It's not like you need to add text to have people go to Target and see it and say, oh, is this the new album by that new Dua Lipa? I like that Don't Start Now song. I guess I'll buy this and see how good she is. Since anyone can just go on the internet and hear the songs and enjoy them or realize they don't like it for free. And it's you can just hear it for free you can just go online or back then people didn't really have that you had to like oh you know what i like this song i heard it on the radio so as i was looking i saw that gagadaily.com there was a whole discussion about it and even given examples of album covers that didn't need text and album covers that they thought looked great even without text so i decided to just go through it some with text that i think look good so they put lady gaga rosalia and rihanna and i do gotta agree i think this is a good example of done right i do love the way it looks on the rosalia album and even on loud even though like the font is on light i think it just works seamlessly perfect taylor is a good example to me because every one of her album designs that have text is tragic what <laughs> where the ones that don't are more elevated and stylish i can agree with red i do like the album cover but i can agree that maybe the text wasn't needed on that cover but speak now and fearless both look 
amazing. Maybe it's just the nostalgia talking, but I love the text on there. And you know what I liked about Speak Now? It's not just like they got a font and put Speak Now. No, I'm assuming maybe Taylor wrote Speak Now and then they just put that in as the text font for the album cover of Speak Now, which I thought was done perfectly. It depends. The cover art really needs to stand alone and speak for itself. Teenage Dream is a good example of this. So is Madonna's True Blue. All three TV covers are bad examples of it. They look better with text. I think it just depends on the person. This person likes it with text and I don't mind it with text. But when I look at these, I feel like they're better as photos than with text. So on this comment, they were saying, Born This Way, the single artwork was a good example of font being used correctly. And I do gotta agree. And the text, what I like about it is that it's like written almost. Like the contrast, like it's just nicely done. Justin Bieber, his Justice album. Yeah, I do agree. I don't think this one needed any text. Selena Gomez, Wolves. Great song. It's interesting because I have seen people say that this was like a bad single artwork but I do like it maybe it's just me I thought they did a nice job they aligned the text really well instead of adding the regular O they added the moon just personal choice but I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be so I did find this article by Emma Coomer that talks about the history of typograph in album covers just going by the decades of like what fonts were popular so for instance the 70s it had a groovy type of font choice style and then you go into the 80s where the text was like in a box shaped space. In the 90s, digital typefaces were starting to get very popular here and the medieval inspired fonts were very in in the 2000s. And I feel like in some cases it does work. It just, I guess it depends. I mean, from here I do like the Gwen Stefani album cover. I thought it was nicely done. The Sean Paul one, even the Beyonce one. I thought those were good examples of using that type of font. And then you go into the 2010s where not only the the disappearance of fonts on an album cover but you also see more creativity of them not just putting a text into the album cover it was more trying to be creative with it trying to make it more of a part of the concept of the album or the concept of the art they pointed out that thank you next instead of just putting like thank you next on the album cover they decided to just tattoo the name on her neck which I thought that was really nicely done and I did leave a link in the description down below if you want to read more about it I do agree just let the photo speak for the music that alone is better than just having something that's kind of random or just doesn't make sense being there and it's not like text has completely disappeared there's still new albums being released with text I think it's one of those things where maybe now the time that we're living in maybe that's what's trendy having just a photo to represent your album and maybe in the future text will get popular again and we'll see more album covers with text again so what are your thoughts on this do you like album covers with text or without text and do you still buy physical albums you can share it down below in the comments if you did enjoy this video don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe while you're at it for more videos thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you later